Hello everyone, my name is Mitisha Gupta and I am your host for today's podcast, Win Over Hypertension. Where you can learn how to take care of your blood pressure through exclusive insights and practical advice. Today we're talking all things about hypertension. Why is it caused, how it matters, and most importantly, how to take care of it effectively. Hello, doctor. It's my honor to have you on this podcast today. Hi, I'm Dr. Manjunath, uh, practicing as general physician at uh, Vanasthalipuram, Hyderabad. Uh, I am here to clear some doubts about hypertension today. So, doctor, by now we all know what hypertension is. But can you please elaborate on it? I mean, why is it so important for us to take care of ourselves even when we feel fine? All of you know about uh, hyper, what is a BP and uh, uh, there, there are two numbers that uh, above number is systolic hypertension and below number is diastolic hypertension. Uh, so we have to consider, uh, consider the both and uh, above, uh, actually what you know is uh, 120 by 80 is normal blood pressure. Uh, but as per guidelines, uh, we will consider if it is 130 by 80, we have to t- consider it as hypertension. So we have to check regularly both of the readings. So doctor, I would like to know what are the most common reasons people develop high blood pressure? Is it genetics, lifestyle or something else? We have to consider family history also in hypertension. Uh, in, if, it is, if they have family history of hypertension, uh, as I said, uh, they have concentrated on uh, their stress levels and uh, their uh, regular uh, diet and uh, as, uh, as I said uh, uh, low salt diet and uh, regular activity and uh, they have to monitor their BP regularly. Can we say that hypertension can be treated without medication? Uh, like I said DASH diet. DASH diet means uh, the diet uh, which, uh, to, to stop uh, hypertension. Uh, dash diet means low, low fat diet and fruits, vegetables and also low salt and uh, also um, obviously low fat means um, we have to avoid uh, red fat mainly. As I said uh, definitely there is role for uh, uh, activity more and uh, there is aerobic exercise will, uh, like walking, cycling, swimming are the best exercise uh, for, to lower the blood pressure at least 150 minutes per week. Uh, we can consider it. So I would also like to know if someone has just been diagnosed with high blood pressure, what are the changes you would want them to make in their daily routine? Whenever the patient is diagnosed uh, with hypertension, uh, first we have to advise the uh, lifestyle changes only. Uh, first, um, low salt diet as uh, we advise regularly and uh, regular activity like uh, uh, five, five days a week and uh, at least uh, 30 minutes a day and uh, second third thing is uh, we have to reduce the weight and uh, fourth thing is uh, we have to concentrate on our addictions like uh, smoking and alcohol and uh, all, and also diet uh, like a dash diet we have we have to call, we, we will call it as dash diet like a da- diet for uh, to stop uh, hypertension like we have to take plenty of fruits and vegetables and low fat diet can we say that hypertension can be treated without medication? Yes, obviously we can treat uh, without medication, but uh, we have to treat. Uh, we, we can consider it as uh, we can consider it in only mild cases, uh, like uh, uh, as I said, like uh, diet. We have to be, we can treat with diet, low salt diet, and uh, activity regularly. Uh, if it is uh, uh, moderate, we have to go for the medication. So we have to check regularly. Then uh, we can decide on that. Okay, doctor, you just talked about medication right now. So, I would like to know what are the most common side effects that people should look out for while taking medications for hypertension? Um, there are side effects, obviously, but uh, um, uh, for diuretics like uh, hydrochlorothiazide and uh, chlorothiazide. Uh, um, so, um, with diuretics, uh, we will get uh, more urination and uh, low potassium levels. So, we have to check it for. And uh, AC inhibitors like Ramipril, Enalapril will get dry cough and with beta blockers like Metoprolol uh, we will get uh, fatig- fatigability and uh, uh, low uh, cold extremities. So if it is, if some, someone we have, will, uh, having some uh, side effects we have to consult doctor 
and uh, there we can decide on the alternatives okay uh, i have a question related to that only let's assume that somebody's blood pressure is coming under control can they come off medication or is it a lifetime commitment yes sometimes we can uh, call it of uh, medication uh, as, I, as i said uh, if we if we are strict on diet and uh, on our uh, regular activities stress levels uh, we can stop the medication if it is mild uh, hypertension uh, most of the times uh, as our lifestyle is uh, not so easy and that's why we have to continue the medication for life long uh, most of in most of the people okay when you say reassess regularly how often people should check their blood pressure and what's the best way to do it right as yes, uh, the best way to check the uh, blood pressure at home uh, well uh, we have the uh, uh, digital uh, blood pressure monitors uh, we have to check two to uh, in star in star, uh, early early days so we have to check uh, in the morning and in the evening uh, after some t- some days we can check uh, at least two to three t- three days per week and uh, actually we have uh, 24 hours glucose mo- uh, hypertension monitoring also bp monitoring also uh, ideally it is the good thing to monitor but uh, for our uh, comfort uh, we have we can check at uh, on digital uh, blood pressure monitor i would also like to know what would happen if high blood pressure gets untreated for years especially the body parts which gets affected the most most of the people and mostly uneducated people will uh, go and monitor and and check uh, they will get, they will come to us uh, with uh, strokes and uh, uh, obviously myocardial infarctions and uh, heart, like heart means i mean heart attack and uh, see chronic kidney disease and uh, uh, aneurysms and many things are there uh, some vascular diseases are more common with this uh, un- unchecked hypertension uh, as i said uh, that upper systolic blood pressure and diastolic blood pressure and uh, eat better and uh, concentrate on your diet and uh, activity and uh, stick to stick to the your regular uh, activity and uh, your stress levels and sleep and uh, as i said aerobic exercise meditation like yoga also will help So this marks the end of our podcast Win Over Hypertension. I would like to say a huge thank you to the doctor for sharing such valuable insights to us. Remember, hypertension isn't just a number, it's a signal. And with right knowledge and action, it's absolutely preventable. If you found this episode helpful, do not forget to like, share and subscribe and share your valuable insights with us. Always remember, stay informed. Stay proactive and most importantly stay healthy. This is Mr. Shagupta signing off from this podcast Win Over Hypertension.